Podcast City Network. And good evening, everyone. You're listening to another episode of the Deathmatch Russell podcast. And tonight, my guest is pro wrestler Johnny Moran. Moran, Moran and uh, we're going to talk to him and see what he's up to. Let's talk wrestling. Let's get right into it right now, fans. Tune in. Let's talk wrestling. Well, good evening, Johnny, and how are you tonight, man? Uh, hello, David. How's it going? I'm doing pretty good. Just, uh, you know, the snow and shit is finally over, hopefully, right? You know? Yeah, it's, it's bitter cold up here. I'm in Scranton, PA, so a well, little north there. Yeah, uh, I'm right here at the Jersey Shore, you know, brick town shit. Oh, that's nice. I know. It's, it's like, yeah, let's get it over with, right? Weather, we need the weather to be, <laughs> be normal now. I'm sick of it, you know? Yeah. I used to live in uh, North Brunswick, so I'm familiar. Right, right. In yeah, Jersey. I, yeah. My sister lives in uh, North Wales, Pennsylvania, so she oh, okay. she got some snow up that way too. You know, yeah. I don't know that shit happened, but yeah. What's going on with you? How you been? Pretty good. Uh, pretty good. I'm at the gym right now. Actually, I just snuck off in a, a silent room. So if I don't sound clear, just let me know. Yeah, you sound pretty good. So, okay. Awesome. So anyway, so what do you got? So what 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 you been up to? Just to training and getting yourself all. You got any events coming up this weekend? Yeah, I actually I train with Mikey Whipwreck. Oh, cool. On Mondays. Yeah. Um. So that's at the uh, PPW Underdog School mm-hmm. in Hazleton, PA. Mm-hmm. Um. And actually, this Saturday we have um, PPW's uh, Juiced. Um. I'll be defending. Mm-hmm. My tag team championship with my partner Clutch Adams against South Philly's finest mm-hmm. for the rematch because I was just on uh, Impact. Yes, I was going to say I was reading the article. Um, oh, actually, Cage Match. I did a little research before I went on here. You know. Oh man, Cage Match. I'm I'm pissed off at Cage Match. Cage Match like missed like half of my career. Oh so. really? Uh oh. Yeah, very spotty. Very spotty. Uh oh. Uh oh. They don't consider me one of the extra guys. Very spotty. Very yeah. spotty. In yeah. My career. I don't know. Yeah. I looked all over the internet too. There was really. There's. <laughs> you gotta look and see, right? Just gotta, yeah. Yeah. You know that's that's usually where you know what where we, where we find our news though. You know. A little oh bit, no no definitely. You know, and matches too. Yeah. You know, you've you've had a lot of, and, and I've seen you've wrestled, uh, you've been with uh, so many companies like, and you've wrestled like Joe. Uh, I want to say Rory Gulak. Yeah, Rory Gulak. Um, I wrestled Matt Riddle at the Monster Factory. Mm-hmm. Um, that's I think that's on the Monster Factory like network. To actually, mm-hmm. go on to also Ooh. Punisher and Two T Marshall. Well, I want to um, say, I want to say how was it to wrestle Matt Riddle? What was it? What awesome. You, yeah. Awesome. I mean, he was a cool dude. Yeah. Then, and he's still a cool dude now. You know what I mean? I know. Look where he is. Right. Yeah. And he deserves yeah. it. Deserves it. You know. Yeah, still like a humble, normal guy. I wouldn't say ego at all. Yeah, but uh, that's awesome. Yeah, and Marshall, yeah. Marshall, she, he, I know that name. He used to wrestle in Jersey. Yeah, he used to wrestle yeah. in Jersey, Ring of Honor, a whole bunch of other places too. Yeah, now I see he's doing something uh, mm-hmm. with AWE. So yeah, yeah, he's always he's always got his hands on something. That guy never stops. Yeah. And Punisher is down there in NXT now too. That's right. I forgot about that. 
Yeah, there's so many names that we can't even keep. We can't keep track. There's so many guys that we yeah. that know. And I wrestled, I wrestled Nick also. Nick is Nick just got signed to NXT. Oh, cool! Very cool. Yeah, very. Cool. All all those guys that wrestle at the Monster Factory. Yeah, a lot of I know. I'll tell you what, the Monster Factories. I I've been there like once or twice for a show, but you know what? They, to see all the guys who get trained and you know they make a good impact and you know they make a good impact and they get signed right. You know. Oh yeah, yeah Dan, get, Dan, Danny runs a tight ship. It, yeah. It's funny because I like yeah. when I was training. I that's how I met Clutch mm-hmm. that I team with now. And I remember seeing Clutch, and I'm like, wow, this kid is like awesome. Yeah, and I remember he was only like six months into like working matches or maybe a year, mm-hmm. and I was like, man, I, I hope to go up against this guy. And then we like wrestled like last year, like all over the place, like we wrestled back and forth, yeah. and now we're teaming together. So, mm-hmm. and actually, and like you said, you wrote just on impact and that, that's pretty cool, man, to be a part of that, you know, to, it was awesome. It, it was yeah, awesome. You know, it's a different aspect altogether, you know, like just to see a live crowd in, you know, and just everybody there, it's just like, you know, you're like, oh, is this, this looks real, you know, like this is a cool, <laughs> it's a cool setup. It's really amazing. It, it definitely, it definitely was real. Yeah. I I did some extra work for them mm-hmm. right before, like probably I think it was October. Mm-hmm. I think I did extra work for them in October. I have it up on my Instagram, like yeah. clips of what mm-hmm. I did with uh, uh, Kid Ref Chris Levin. Yeah. I threw him over the bar, um, mm-hmm. and yeah. I did a little extra work for them. And then <laughs> yeah. when the show came to PPW, yeah. Um, I got the team a clutch, and then we ended up winning the tag team championships mm-hmm. on that show. Big shout out! Congratulations on that. You know. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. You know, I'll have to rewatch that later. I was watching that earlier this after, before a little bit. Get my little yeah. YouTube clips in. You know, watch. Yeah, you, oh, definitely. It's, it's amazing what you find on there. You can really find like full matches. You can find, you know, some people really don't even know it. You know. Yeah, no, I, I, anything I do, I try to at least get it recorded mm-hmm. if the company doesn't art, like, yeah. like the Impact one, it's kind of like they're mm-hmm. owned by GWN, so, like, yeah, you their gotta... video footage has to go that way first. Yeah, because you can't if just... a fan films it, and yeah. I happen to pick it up and put it on my YouTube channel, yeah. it's okay. Yeah, or Twitch, it's fine, you know? They don't really... Yeah. They, I mean, we stream a lot on Twitch for our podcast once in a while with my other buddy, and, uh, you know, our network, that's why you see podcasts. We're, he's out of Daytona, Florida, actually. It's pretty cool. Yeah. I, I, I don't know how I missed you, um, mm-hmm. Friday at pro wrestling after dark. No way. You were there. Yeah. My, my girlfriend's Christina Marie. Yeah. So she was standing I, right next to Yeah. Me. I snapped a pick with her. Yeah. 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 She was, yeah. And I was, I was talking to Blackstrom. Yeah. We're actually having a match next weekend. But oh, cool. um, shout out to Blackstrom. We yeah. All over well, next place. time, next time Eddie, you're at a show, I'll catch up with you. How's that? <laughs> yeah. I, 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 and I, I saw like your podcast. I was watching the yeah. one prior to this, and I was like, I was standing right there when you talked to Logan. I'm like, how did I not, not see him? Turn around and just say, hey. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Yeah. But now, next time, I think I'm going to be up. A better spot location too for my pot. It was like in a corner; you couldn't even see me. You know what I mean? Like in the back. There. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Wi-Fi sucked in that building. I'll tell you that. That's uh, yeah. But fantastic we, show. But like, oh, dude, it was a great show. It, it, it was a great show. I mean, that was awesome to see Brian Cage. Like that was the first time seeing him ever. You know? Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Brian's good dude. He is ripped as all hell, but <laughs> you uh, know, yeah. that oh, machine yeah. man. You know? Yeah. And then Mike Orlando came out. That was cool. That was cool, definitely. It's going to be a good setup for the next, you know, for the Atlantic City show. Oh, uh, definitely. You know, I'll be on that show. So okay, so then me there. okay, so then we can do a live pro. All right, cool. We could do oh, yeah. something live. Yeah, there. we could do something live. All right, I'll be sponsoring that one. I'm definitely going to go. To awesome. That, you know? Awesome. But anyway, let's uh, let's go back into time and how did you get who, who, or like old school wrestling? Like how did you uh, grow up? Like, who, who were your influences growing up? And what you- uh, my influences growing up, I just loved everybody. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm really weird. Like, my brother, right. James, actually is 10 years older than me. Mm-hmm. So he had all these, like, Saturday night main events, like, recorded on um, VHSs. Mm-hmm. And he had, like, these LJN dolls and all the original, like, WWF magazines. Yeah. 
So when I wasn't watching like Disney movies and like All Dogs Go to Heaven or Beetlejuice, <laughs> like yeah, yeah. I was watching Saturday Night's Main Event playing with his toys yeah. and that's how I got like my exposure to wrestling. I mean, obviously like yeah. your favorites when you're a kid is like Hulk Hogan and the Ultimate Warrior, but yeah. Um it was my my older brother like i i loved the bad guys like for some reason i loved mm-hmm. Tully blanchard and arn anderson mm-hmm. like i loved the brain busters and bobby heenan and like mr like, perfect and yeah yeah yeah, yeah. i was, I was rick, a weird kid rick rick rude uh, to yeah 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 i yeah. loved the heenan family i wasn't a huge andre fan i don't know why i just wasn't mm-hmm. but like the rest of the heenan family i liked yeah adventures out but like a ricky the dragon steamboat of course you know everybody Mm -hmm. you know you gotta like his style how he really you know brought it to paul orndorff did too and people don't realize you know like so oh yeah paul orndorff was the man he was he was i think think his brother still does something i try to find him online or something (laughs) wait he has a he has a brother i think he has a brother or somebody that wrestles and yeah (laughs) <laughs> oh wow see I didn't even know that I know you can find that on the internet <laughs> you drop knowledge on me yes yeah you know but like you know looking back like you know you know Randy Macho Man Savage too of course oh god yeah you god know. yeah you always have I still like one of my favorite <laughs> matches is Hulk Hogan and Macho Man on Saturday night Saturday night's main event mm-hmm. with James Buster Douglas as the referee and like that match, like started the show out, and it was just fantastic. Yeah, my first experience with the well, I was lucky as a kid. I got to go to WrestleMania Five with my dad. Oh, that's awesome! <laughs> I know, and I was up in the nosebleeds, and but still, but, still, but, but, awesome. but nosebleeds right next to like five rows away from Gorilla Monsoon and Jesse doing the commentary. Oh, that's insane! Holding Omega Powers fluorescent sign up in the crowd, you know, like a um, little kid, you know. Yeah. That's awesome. Hearing the thumps of their mat, and you know, yeah, it was great. It was a great experience, you know, as a kid. I still have my ticket stubbed to this day. <laughs> you know, uh, that's awesome. I, I save all my ticket stubs to like everything. Yeah. I don't like that everything's going like digital ticket stub wise because now it's just like you scan your phone and it's like it disappears forever. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, I think I had Marty Jannetty sign it one time. You know, just to have. Oh, that's awesome! I know. Why not? Right? Just yeah. at least because he lost his match, but he was there. You know, uh, the yeah. Rock Rockers kicked ass anyway. You know, with Shawn Michaels yeah. back in the day. You know, but no, it's it's you know you look back at it, right? wrestling was like that was the wrestling. You know, I mean, we loved what we saw. You know, you got your, yeah. you got your money's worth. Like you can sit in the crowd. How many times? Did you ever go to any live events or, like, as a kid? Um, I used to go to the CYC in Scranton, so mm-hmm. I went there as a kid. God, I, I don't think I missed it from when I was, like, yeah. I want to say, like, six years old all the way until I think I was, like, 13 or something. Mm-hmm. Because the next time I went to a wrestling show it was at uh, the Wilkes-Barre Arena. Mm-hmm. Because they stopped going to um, the Scranton CYC because it was just too small. Like, yeah. I think the CYC fits like uh, probably like three thousand or four thousand people. Yeah, and like they're, they're they were doing like like this was like they stopped coming at like the height of the Attitude Era. So like mm-hmm. I remember like Triple H got on the microphone and said "suck it" and yeah. Like, it was the Catholic Youth Center. That's what the CYC stands for. So, like, the bishop, yeah. like, came on TV and was like, WWF is no longer allowed back. But, like, mm. everywhere you, like, read stuff, it wasn't because the bishop said it. It was just because they outgrew the building. Yeah. Like, yeah. it was too small. It was them. just great to go with friends and just, you know, it's like, yeah, it was like, let's go. Let's go see some wrestling. Let's have a laugh. Let's see what this is all about. You know, that's how yeah. we, that's how we all got into it. You know what I mean? Like, as fans, just grow up. You yeah. And then. Look where it is today, man. It's everywhere. Oh, yeah. We're, we're spoiled, you know? Oh, yeah. We, we definitely are spoiled for what we have, you know, in products and wrestling and local wrestling, too. You know, independent. Yeah, there's, there's so much in, everywhere. So much independent wrestling. Like, it's amazing, you know? Even if we have, to, even if we have to travel, you know? <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, that's what I mean. I've traveled all over the East Coast. I just went to the West Coast. Mm-hmm. This past um, 
November, mm -hmm. I wrestled for LA Lucha. Oh, cool. And that, that was awesome. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And like half of the Lucha Underground guys were like the roster and I'm there and I'm like, holy crap. I like watch Lucha Underground all the time. Yeah. So I knew like everyone that was walking in. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Yeah, it's like a new, yeah. new scene for you to see, and you're like, wow, these, these are guys I've actually seen <laughs> local, too, uh, once in yeah. a while, you know? Yeah, my my friends moved out there. Uh, mm -hmm. Keita Murray, he was just on um, WWE, mm -hmm. uh, on SmackDown. He beat Shane McMahon and uh, The Miz before they had their, like, big run together mm -hmm. um, just a little while ago, and... Uh, our other friend, uh, Kit Raff, he also lives out there. Mm -hmm. So they they were like, oh, why don't you come just, like, come out for a week? Because they both lived in Scranton before. Yeah, yeah. So I was like, all right, but, like, I want to, you know, like, try and get on a show. So, like, give me promoters to, like, message so I can get on a show. So I already booked the trip, and I was out there for a week, and then I got on um la lucha and it was it was a fantastic experience and like different crowd i don't think back, so. i know the crowd really like is so much different and it's like you're wow like they're into it like you know what i mean like they know who they're gonna be seeing and then the new guys come in like you or somebody comes in and they're like wow this guy's really awesome you know yeah i i was just like amazed at how tall i am there yeah a lot of, like that whole locker room everybody was so short and mm -hmm. i was just like oh Giant, <laughs> and I'm only six foot, so yeah. I felt like huge. Right. Well, hell, I'm a, what five <laughs> ten. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you could have been like the two towers over there. <laughs> Tomorrow, what? I turned forty two. Jeez. All right. You know, forty two. Well, happy, happy birthday. Thank you, thank you. Well, actually, the day before got lucky because I was on the phone at I called ninety five nine the rat caller number nine oh, yeah. caller number nine. And I won, oh, wow. and I won tickets to for April's uh, Jake the Snake Roberts comedy tour. How about that? Oh, that's awesome! I know it's at the Starland Ballroom. So yeah. Oh wow, I'll, Starland Ballroom too. Take yeah, I'll take my dad there. I'll take my dad. He'll love that. You know, yeah. You know, so I'm always to look back on Jake the Snake growing up. We all, you know, like there's another guy. You know, did yeah. a lot, did a lot. You know, even has his own school. You know, and. Oh, he has a school now? I didn't know that. In California somewhere. Yeah, the Snake Pit. Oh, wow. The Snake Pit, I think it's called. Okay. Okay. Somewhere. I know Homeless Jimmy goes there once in a while, my friend. <laughs> uh, that's awesome. XPW's Homeless Jimmy. He's still around, you know? <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. He actually crashed on my couch one year, one time. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah, because Game Changer Wrestling was in town, and I had a whole bunch of friends from the IWA Mid-South who were, like, at my house for the summer, <laughs> almost. Oh, wow. I was like, yeah, this is great, you know? But yeah. You hear stories that you don't want to know, you know? <laughs> like, oh, yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> bar none, bar none. I even, had, I even had, like, some young training kids. That was pretty cool, you know? Like oh, wow. they were just, but they're big now, you know. Right, making the name for themselves. <clears throat> so that's awesome. So if you had a dream match, who would you wrestle? Um, is this in WWE? Anywhere, anywhere uh, in the world. I, I love Samoa Joe, so it would be Samoa Joe. Ooh, nice. All right, yeah. I, could, I could see that happening. A little Samoa yeah. Joe. Joe's always been a, you know, man, I love, like, Ring of Honor days, you know, Jersey All-Pro days. Right. Like, he was yeah. a lot, you, you know, people don't realize, like, look at the past and look at, look at where these guys actually came from, you know? No, definitely. And now they're uh, on TV every single day. Yeah, and on the network every single day. And would would you like to see yourself in that spot? Oh, God, yeah. I mean, yeah. Who wouldn't, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, you were just on Impact. Come on, right? Yeah. Jeez, they should, uh, you know, make the call. I'm sure. I'm sure you're. They got you in, you know, in their books. So. I hope so. I hope they're paying I, attention. I know. I know. Because they got. I'm trying. Like this year, I said I'm going to make as much noise as I possibly can. You have to. You have to. Because you know, it's if you don't, then people will be like, "Who the hell is this guy?" You know. Exactly. Exactly. Keep moving town to town. You know, it's like you got your big show this next week. What else do you got coming up? Any other big shows? Um, yeah. After this weekend, I have um, ACWA, and that's where I'm actually wrestling Blackstrom. Mm -hmm. 
And then March, I have D2W on yeah. Friday, mm -hmm. um, the 1st. Yeah. And then Keystone Wrestling, I can officially announce this now. I'm wrestling Deshaun Pratt. Mm -hmm. um, ooh. Yeah, March I had 2nd. Ooh, I had him on my podcast. Great wrestler, too. Great. Uh, we trained together. Uh, oh, that's well, awesome. Yeah. We trained at PPW for a little bit. Yeah. Um, yeah. So um, we've we've trained together, like... Mm -hmm did rides together like yeah it, it, it's gonna be a fun one mm -hmm. like as soon as i heard it was deshaun i was like okay this is gonna be a good one yeah that'd be yeah good. yeah, yeah that, like immediately like my like wheels started turning and i'm like oh, i'm super excited now because yeah uh, because you guys know each other and it's you can really, yeah it's it's, it's always good. different when you go in there with like someone you consider a friend or someone you consider yeah. yourself like close to like the edge is almost off yeah but you you kind of like want to outdo each other so like when you get in the back your friend goes oh wow man like i didn't know you could do that you know what i'm saying like you kind of like mm -hmm. you want to like almost one up your friend so like that one's gonna be one to watch mm -hmm. um I then mean, i return i return to excellence uh pro wrestling on march 9th mm -hmm. um there i do more of like a comedy gimmick mm -hmm. i try to like you know, like diversify what I do depending on where I'm at. Like excellence. Yeah. Um, there's a ton of Chikara guys. I was gonna uh, say I was gonna say, yeah, you uh you you've done a couple things with fire uh one of the ants. Green ant. Yeah, green ant. Green ant. Green ant. So we uh we have a tag team called Ant Man. Mm -hmm. And uh the owner of Excellence Professional Wrestling likes to call me the psychiatrist of the group. Yeah. Like he likes to call me Doctor Phil. Right. Cause, cause like green ant's supposed to be like off the handle, like off the walls and yeah, supposed to be like the yeah. serious calm down. What are you, what are you doing type of thing? So like I get to have fun there like that. Yeah. And like, I love going to excellence because it's like, mm -hmm. I just get to do some comedy that I don't typically get to do. Like yeah, usually where I'm, I'm everywhere else, like you don't really, like, yeah, you, I don't get to pull that out of me. You so, have to, like, you have to, to you, have, you have to have the characters in wrestling. You know, it's, it's people yeah. don't, don't people, you know, you have the, you're good, you're good, you know, you do your kayfabe, you know, you have mm -hmm. to, you know, when it comes time, but you have to have fun. It's it's all about fun. Yeah, like we say. And that, yeah, like I would say, like that is the closest. I've you never seen me. You know what? I do my silly I, I'll tell you what. In all my years of going to, going to wrestling, I've never been to a Chikara show ever. Oh man, you got to go to a Chikara show. I need to. I need to. Check. You need to go to either Chikara or Excellence. Like, come to one of them. Yeah, you're, Where's the Excellence at? Where are they at in Pennsylvania? Uh, Sellersville. So the Sellersville. If I could try and speak today. Sellersville. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like mm -hmm. twenty minutes from Philly. Hmm. Yeah, so it's not. It might be a little bit of a drive for you, but yeah, yeah, definitely worth it. Definitely hmm. worth the haul. I'll check that out. And then March fifteenth, I finally returned to uh, OTW hmm. in uh, New Jersey. Mm -hmm. um, I'm in the main event against Adam Chandler, mm -hmm. another one of my like good friends yeah. that I'm super excited to work. Mm -hmm. um, and then the sixteenth. Is PPW? Yeah. Uh, so I'm. You're, I'm at you're, 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 you're solid, solidly booked. You, you're you're booked. Yeah. I mean, it's crazy. And then March, you know, don't forget pro wrestling after dark. You know, <laughs> come on, that's gonna be fun. I cannot wait for that one. That's gonna be a great show. You know, see see you yeah. in the ring, see you in the ring, and uh, he root you on. You talk? mean May, right? Huh? May? Oh, May. is that May? May yeah, yeah, yeah. That's May seventeenth. All right. I'm like, all right. I'm literally looking at my date. That's why I was going number by number. I'm like, wait, uh, wait a minute. I don't, don't, wait, I, I don't th have it in March. What are you talking no, about? No, I thought it, I thought there was a flyer. Uh, Chad has so many shows, it's crazy, you know? Oh, yeah. No, Chad. Chad, Chad is literally. killing it, like, 100 every week, you know? It's, yeah, it's, he's another one I always say, like, does not sleep. Like, <laughs> yeah. I'll wake up to a message, and it'll be like, are you working somewhere this weekend? And I'm like, no, but I'll work for you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Chad, he, I Chad's can't say enough. Good dude, he does a Chad. lot. Yeah, he's awesome. He's really yeah. just like one of those guys that's laid back. I'll see him this Saturday at GCW. You know? Yeah, yeah. He, he's he, he's fantastic, and he's everywhere. He like yeah. And this this is one thing that like yeah. I can say no other promoter no besides Chad has done like yeah. He ca he came all the way to um, WXW in Allentown to watch mm -hmm. me and Christina versus Allie and. Uh, Mike Orlando, mm -hmm. 
in a mixed tag match. Right. And he drove all the way down just to talk to us. Oh, that's so awesome. Yeah. He's, yeah. And I like know. that blew my mind. I'm like, they're like, this shows the guy's character. Yeah. And like, when you, when you invest in me, like there's nothing I wouldn't do for Chad. Like Chad, Chad's, oh. Chad's a friend. Chad's, me, Chad's you know a friend. I mean? Chad's awesome. I'm glad I'm working alongside of him. You know, yeah. As a sponsor, it's great to, uh, you know, it's great business. You know, people. We have to be. That's what we are. Professional. <laughs> Got to be professional at it. Yeah. 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 I mean, I don't want to forget anything me. that Chad has told me about though. So yeah, definitely September 14th, Kings of Queens tournament. Yeah, I forgot. About um, that. Oh yeah, that one too. I totally forgot about that one. Boy, there's so many shows. It's like, ooh, where do we go? Where do we go? You know? Yeah, he's got me on his standalone June 1st also. Mm -hmm. um, and then something is happening um, in June mm -hmm. that I'm not allowed to talk about. No. So I will be on. Yeah. And you're going to have to wait until March 1st to find that out. Yeah, yeah. It's super secret. Right. But March, your computer's. Make sure you're checking standalone wrestling and make sure you're checking out Chad's Facebook and you'll get the answer to what that little secret is. Mm. Yeah, that'll be good. I can't wait. Yeah, it's a very big deal. Very yeah. big deal. Very big deal for me because June mm. 30th is my birthday. So, Well, there you go, right? Yeah. It's like tomorrow's yeah. mine. Definitely yeah. want to wrestle on my birthday. There you go, wrestle. Usually, yeah. usually I go stand in the ring at a like an independent show or something. <laughs> Happy this birthday! Is, <laughs> this is my third year in a row wrestling on my birthday. It's kind of funny. That's cool. That's like yeah. you know, as like a wrestling fan, you know, I always go to get yeah. stand in the middle of a ring, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Chant, chant my name. You know? Heck yeah. But now you look. Get your moment in. Get your moments in it. We do every time. Come on, you know. Yeah. We're the, in the spotlight for one hour, you know? <laughs> Heck yeah. So so what kind of workout do you do, uh, Johnny? Like, what do you um, what, what do you really, I like, concentrate on more? Um, I try to hit each body part yeah. three times a week. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. or sorry, three times a week. I try yes. to hit each body part twice a week. Right. So um, I, I just call it functional training. Like, yeah. I used to do bodybuilding. Mm -hmm. Um. I also, when I was in high school, I did powerlifting. Mm -hmm. So once I started doing amateur wrestling in college, yeah, it was more of functional training. Mm -hmm. And then once I started doing bodybuilding after college, like yeah. right out of college, um, it was trying to hit every body part to its peak and like working the failure on muscles and. Mm -hmm. I, I had a trainer. I, dude, I'll tell you what, man. I used to work out at Workout World, and man, I felt so great, you know. Yeah. And then, then they had a fire, and then I just stopped because I'm outdoors all day. I, I'm a garbage man, you know. Oh, okay. <laughs> so okay. I get my. I think I get my workout, you know, and I hike a lot too. So come on. Oh, see, yeah, yeah. As long as you're getting your heart rate up. Exactly. You know what I mean? Like people always like come up to me at my like. Um, mm -hmm. I'm my like regular job and they'll they'll ask me like, Oh, what what do you do? And yeah. like like what 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 tips can you give me? And I'm just like, you Everything. know, like do don't watch what you eat and yeah. like do mm -hmm. exercise that works for you. Like yeah. that works for you. You know what I mean? You're yeah. you're lifting heavy garbage all day and you hike all the time. So yeah. that works I mean, for you. I mean I've I like like I've hiked in Colorado, man, I love it. I've done fourteen thousand feet, you know. Mm -hmm. I've done, and, it's and awesome. that's fun. I right? know it is. It is. It is. And I used to snowboard, but then I gave that up because my, you, you know, your knees get shot after a while. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I um, I tried snowboarding yeah. once, and uh, I, I like wrecked so bad, <laughs> and I never did it again. I was like uh, probably like fourteen, mm -hmm. fourteen years old, and I just ate it on the mountain, and like yeah. Ever never since, went back. I did skiing for like a minute. Every like, every like twenty, you know, every twenty first birthday, like when I was around my birthday, I, I I'd go to Vermont with my dad, Killington, all the time. We'd go. Oh wow! You know, so, yeah. But now now I'm getting older. We're my dad's getting wrecked. You know, <laughs> he's getting yeah. his, his legs ain't doing too great. as like he because he had a blood clot and you know he's oh, no. his health. But his health is good though. You know, he stays oh, that's fit. Good. That's good. That's he good. stays fit. But, yeah, you know, can't do it anymore. We don't have the energy to, you know. 
Yeah, no, I feel you on the energy thing. I drink coffee like it's water. Yeah, it's like me right now. I'm drinking my iced coffee from Starbucks. Come on. See, you got to. You yeah. got to. Yeah. Uh, somebody yeah. had a meme up today. Like It showed like a person, mm-hmm. and then it like showed like 95% water, and then it was like me, and then it was like 100% coffee, and I was like, yeah, that's my meme. I'm mm-hmm. going to steal that. Yeah, it's pretty funny. There's a guy I know. He, well, actually, you probably heard him, Larry Legend. You know. Yes. And, yes. And uh, yes. you know he's a big fan of Starbucks. So me and him always Snapchat Starbucks everywhere we go. It's funny <laughs> as hell. You know. Yeah, I like I like to find those like little mm-hmm. tiny shops. Yeah. Like I'll I'll hit a Dunkin' Donuts. I'll hit a Starbucks. But mm-hmm. I'd much prefer to find like those little like coffee shops that no one knows about. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I tried that Rook, Rook coffee. That's strong as shit, you know? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Those are popping up all over the place here in Jersey now, you know? I, I tried that uh, Caveman coffee that was on Joe Rogan. Mm-hmm. Fantastic. Yeah. I only needed one all day. I was like, okay, this definitely has a lot of energy in it. I want to try that Death coffee. <laughs> Death, I, I've, had, I've seen I, it. I'm I tempted. feel like after, like... Yeah. Like, I like once you have it like four or five days in a row, I think it slowly decreases the effect. Yeah. But that caveman stuff, like mm-hmm. that works. Like every time I had the same effect, but right. Um, fish coffee. Um, Did, you know, it's also like a, a fix from coffee almost. And that's really awesome. And I get it in Colorado. It's called Yerba tea. Oh, my, my one good friend. Yeah. Uh, loves your tea. Oh my god, it's like you could just drink it. It's just like like you're you're at, like when I was hiking, it's like that was a boost. Like you had the energy, you know? Yeah, he he swears by it. He's like, "Oh, stop drinking coffee, drink this." I'm like, "I like it, but I yeah. don't like it as much. I like the flavor of coffee." Yeah. As awful as that sounds. Like, I know. like, "Ew, how could you like that?" I'm like, "I don't know. I just I can't stand good to me. I can't stand like coffee at a like a gas station, you know what I mean? The shitty Columbia. Yeah, I, I call that the uh, the filtered through a sock coffee. Or you go to the hotel lobby and it has a shitty coffee, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah. What are you going to do, right? Or a motel, you know? <laughs> Definitely. But hopefully I get my free one tomorrow morning. <laughs> oh, hey. Right? They should give me one. You got, you got your bonus points? <laughs> Millions of points, yeah. Yeah. You know. and they give you what on your birthday at Starbucks? They give you one free. I think so. Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, I'm off tomorrow anyway, so maybe I'll do that. Oh, <laughs> there perfect. you go. I'm off the rest of the week. <laughs> take a, <laughs> take a couple nice. days. I know vacation needed, well needed. Yeah, just not going to go anywhere. Gamble probably when I'm uh, in Atlantic City a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I was going to say you can enjoy this lovely freezing cold weather. But, yeah, hey. yeah, and then Saturday go drink with everybody at the uh, show. You know, <laughs> go have yeah. Exactly. Have, have drink with Chad, and you know it's gonna be fun. Of course, he's probably setting up the ring. I'm sure. You know. So. No, he's he's always doing something. Chad doesn't stop moving. I know. <laughs> it's great. But anyway, what do you think of this all all elite wrestling? You you catch? I it? think it's awesome. It's sold out already. I was like, holy shit. Yeah, yeah. I think it's awesome for the and I yeah. I used to team with Sonny Kiss, so mm-hmm. I'm super happy. For I him. know Sonny is awesome. So, Sonny is yeah. awesome person to deserves an opportunity like that to be mainstreamed. You know. Yeah. And MJF, I used to see all the time at mm-hmm. the sanctuary and all over the place. You I used, know, I used to hate him to death. I used to. Uh, see, I I knew him behind the scenes. Yeah, so, like to me, he was just a funny. <clears throat> Funny guy, so right, right, right. I used to hate him when I I actually got blocked by him. It's funny, you know. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's well, too funny. When the big tape toilet paper phase was first happening at the combat zone, you know. Oh, that's awesome. It's, I uh, I remember when I first saw that. I'm like, oh man, that is incredible that they're throwing toilet paper at him. Yeah, and I actually launched it at him. It was great. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, that's great. Yeah, there's a picture of me. I think I'll I'll have to send it to you later. <laughs> Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. It's You're fun. the one that started it. I need to see that. Yeah, yeah. But then who else? Who else was there? Nick? Gal- oh, Nick Aldiaz or Dells, whatever. It's got the guy from TNA. You know, Nick. Nick Diaz was there, and Tim Storm. I fucking started something with them. It was funny. Oh really? Yeah. I love how heckling. You know, you just gotta get under the skin a little bit. It's great. Yeah. But yeah, to close out for the uh, for the um, you know the MJ blocking. Well, 
one of my friends helped set him up because he was saying, I have to say something about something in his house. And I was like, I have to take a shit. <laughs> I'm going to use your restroom. <laughs> I'm going to use your ba bathroom. You know? And then he blocked me. It was hilarious. That's too funny. It is. So, yeah, you know, this that's, it's a big thing now. So we'll see what happens, you know? it's Yeah, it's, I mean, it, it's only good because... Yeah, their company. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean. It's Cody Rhodes. It's you know yeah. young. No, Joey Janela. There's another guy that's uh, you know, okay. and Penelope Ford and and actually, uh, what the hell, uh, Kylie Ray also. I want to say that. Yes, I yes. got. I actually got to see her at Freelance Underground when uh, Game Changer Wrestling went to Chicago one year. Oh, okay. At a brewery, it was really awesome just to see like these not. These, they're local talent, you know? Right. So going at it. And, you know, Pat Monix. Pat Monix was there, too. He's a, another NX, you know, another guy who's on the scenes, too. But that's about it, you know? Yeah. All right. I'm going to let you get going. How's that? Oh, awesome. What else? Well, thank you for having me. Hey, anytime. Uh, come back on anytime you want. Oh, that'd be awesome. I'd love to come back. Um, mm hmm where can, you can I was, yeah, I was just gonna say you can find me on uh, Facebook. Uh, Facebook, it's undeniably Johnny Moran. Um, that's my like page. I prefer fans not to friend me on my actual page, Johnny Moran, because it gets clogged up at like five thousand like every other week, and it's just a pain in the butt to like start removing people. Mm -hmm. I like to just keep that at like promoters, podcasters, yeah, other wrestlers. Um, mm -hmm. I post the same stuff on my like page. I much prefer to have people go to that like page. Mm -hmm. um, also, I have a Twitter. It's Johnny Moran underscore. Same thing with Instagram. Johnny Moran underscore. Also, I have a YouTube page where I literally post probably every match. Yes, you do. <laughs> close to every match I've ever had. I even have like old bodybuilding stuff on there oh, really? from when I was before wrestling. Like if you go all the way to the bottom. Bottom. Yeah. Yeah. But um, definitely, you know, check out Pro Wrestling After Dark. Check out Standalone Wrestle here. Um, and PPW. In the future. And PPW, right? Or and PPW. And Excellence. Excellence, yeah. Hey, Johnny, I want to say good luck this weekend. And, oh, uh, thank you so much. And uh, I'll see you again, all right? Maybe I'll see you in Atlantic City. Who knows? Oh, heck yeah, you will. You know. All right. Be good. Thank okay. you for being on. You too. Have a good night. You too. Bye. Wow, fans, that was a really awesome conversation tonight. I really enjoyed myself talking. And this guy was just, like, standing right next to me. I didn't even know it at a show in, this past Friday night in Vineland, New Jersey, at Pro Wrestling After Dark, the shit show. Um, but, yeah, he's got a lot coming up. He's been on TNA. He's He wants to be seen. Fans, check him out. Johnny. Johnny Moran. He's ready for action anywhere you can find him. He is ready for anything and everybody. So check him out and go say hi to him at a show. See him live in action. And much, much more on him. Good things coming for him. And Pro Wrestling After Dark as well. And Standalone Wrestling. And check it out, fans. This set... This Friday night, fans, on the Deathmatch Russell podcast, we're going extreme. ECW original, the Pitbull, the Pitbulls, number one, Gary Wolf will be on the line at 8 p.m. on the Deathmatch Russell podcast. Thank you for listening. Have a good night, everyone. Hey, wrestling fans, I want to mention Collar and Elbow. Collar and Elbow was founded on traditional values of professional wrestling. Two entities working together to create a product intended to connect with people on a, an emotional level. A symbolic relationship where one cannot flourish without the other. We strive to create a product that embodies our passion for professional wrestling expressed through street fashion. Visit CollarAndElbowBrand.com and use the promo code Deathmatch Russell Podcast and save 10% off when you make a purchase. Collar and Elbow. 
where wrestling passion meets street fashion. You, you can find more Deathmatch Russell podcasts on the following social media, deathmatchrussell.com, follow on Twitter at DavidNJ32, and on Facebook, facebook.com slash DJDaveNJ32. Find me on Podcast City Network at podcastcity.net, facebook.com slash podcastcitynetwork. Hit the like button and share, and on Twitter at podcastcitynet. You can hear Deathmatch Russell podcast on Stitcher Radio and on iTunes.